2023 annual internal audit conference was held at the University of Professional Studies, Accra, UPSA Auditorium. The theme for the conference was 20 years of internal audit practice in Ghana, achievements, challenges and way forward brought together 1,300 participants from all 16 regions of the country. Honorable Yao Osafo Mafo, the Senior Presidential Advisor, was the guest of honor. Former Director Generals and current one, Dr. E. O. Osai, shared valuable insights, acknowledged the challenges of the practice, and made meaningful contributions to the way forward during a panel discussion on the theme of the conference. Ms. Sena Dake, President of the Institute of Chartered Accountants, Ghana, and Ni Asafuache Abe, a Director Associate at Deloitte, shared with participants on the topics contemporary legal and professional requirements of the modern internal auditor and leveraging on artificial intelligence for effective internal auditing in Ghana, respectively, on the second day. The conference was climaxed with the giving of awards to deserving recipients from the MDAs, MMDAs, SOEs and tertiary institutions and a cake cutting ceremony to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the passage of the Internal Audit Agency Act 2003 at 658. Awards went to the underlisted. Yeah, a be my in Juma was assembly, your checks, your balances, your risk. I call low and was assembly. The Bema assembly, no, I had it to me a page. I'm a basic and yeah, dear Juma. In TBB, I was saying, making sure see a war line him. I ain't your basa basa beer. In this audit committee, your committee be a war assembly, or more check it, make sure say you may do your books. Your reports are caught at the right time. In teenage na ha na ya boy abasu fi se head of entity amena meda no ma ya di ma make sure se ma attend the meetings. Obu onko meeting ni bi into onim ni eko sukwa wa audit committee no. And so e di metumi ya kobi omo ala wa sibia mindi me di omo adi ema wa me make sure se ya 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 ko ye meetings e wasi e ko for the year. In teenage di nyami ya dumi me se ma ya di kakra. The way forward next year, you may buy a sample of the baby account. Way back next year, Ningy now for Ningy now, Beba, near Beji, because your boy, your home, or the way I was so west, near the Bian, I was so west, I was so west, a dim bonny be at the battery, and then your good news into your name, someone so media houses in your eye, and then you concentrate on I was so west, your audit committee members, and the young guy, I bet you saw what other entities, organizations, MMDs, they say, for what we are MC, and I would that entity now. For our own G audit committee meetings, Mupa. I want to be one day. Also, our reports, we have to have reports. We have to have fun. And so, the reports need free assembly. We have to want to make sense of our reports. Number. And then, actually, they are all here. No, here the right thing. And here, my basa basa. Ebi eko we do mem. Ebi eko we do mem. Ebi eko we do mem. One cosa audit committee meeting now. And so, Tim be a TSC and the report about your mouth query crown will answer on time. And no, the express that we a good leader. And I said, Would they cope? And it's a Mr. MMDCs in the Wagana, Mofa Mohunje audit committee meetings, Mopa, a idea here, a bed wow, a bed my reports are contempt. I might be beach here, I'm more correct at Dulin. But if I see a boy, me didn't know the team. A year, me and me for me coordinating director, the members, assembly members, auditors, Omuni, municipal, Obia, by my effect, and your mechanism, Madame Massa, your mean shram, and my face, I said, Nay, the four Nina air choir was so west, your mean shram, or made us say. You're not looking at all. That was west. All right. So we continue with the best internal audit um, category. The passage of the Fiscal Responsibility Act, passage of the Public Procurement Regulations, the ongoing restructuring of the Internal Audit Agency, the automation of the public procurement with the use of the Ghana Electronic Pay Procurement System, GANEPS, to ensure transparency and proper oversight of our procurement process in the public sector are very important interventions made by the government. 
Taken together, these initiatives create, created a platform of more resilient fi finances, which allow the government to further extend our investment into infrastructure and strengthen, strengthening of social safety nets to protect the most vulnerable. I am particularly proud of the fact that we were able to grow school feeding enrollment from 1.67 million in 2017 to 3.6 million by the end of last year. Moreover, households covered under the LEAP program increased from 195,680 to 344,185 over the same period. While active membership of the NHIA also rose from 10.4 million to 17.9 million. Madam Chairperson, as we navigate through a challenging global macroeconomic contest, our challenge now is to anchor our economic build back as captured in the post COVID program for economic growth, that's the PCPEG, on fiscal prudence, fiscal consolidation, and return to debt sustainability. To place this in proper context, Madam Chair, the program envisages a cumulative fiscal adjustment of 5.1 percentage points of GDP over the program period 2023 to 2026, with a fiscal effort of 3.8 percentage points in 2023 alone. The primary deficit on commitment basis is also set to be reduced from 4.3 percent of GDP in 2022 to 0.5% in 2023. These targets will be pursued by strong reforms across both domestic revenue mobilization, spending efficiency, and spending efficiency. Against that backdrop, backdrop, ladies and gentlemen, the role of internal auditing in the public sector forms a crucial step towards providing a building back the economy through efficiency, value for money, and transparency in the use of public resources. Madam Chair, let me use this opportunity to assure the public that the government will continue to support the work of auditors in the assurance services they offer, including the work of the Auditor General. The government has on a continuous basis established measures to address the root causes underlying irregularities reported by the Auditor General. I recently launched the Emergency Expenditure Management Guidelines and the Audit Recommendations Implementation and Follow-up Instructions for Public Institutions. These two guidelines are designed to provide a clear, transparent framework for how public officers should uphold fiscal discipline in public emergencies, as well as improve public financial management and accountability. These interventions underscore the government's fair commitment to ensure strict accountability and transparency in the management of public resources. It is my expectation that with the effective use of these guidelines, the government will see improvement in the implementation of audit recommendations, reduction in audit infractions, and ultimate improvement in the public sector internal auditing. Madam Chair, the Ministry will continue to enforce and enhance all the ongoing expenditure management and accountability measures to ensure proper utilization of public resources to the full benefit of the citizens of Ghana. I acknowledge that the success achieved by the internal auditors over the period, that is this two decade, has not been without challenges. Inadequate resources, uncompetitive conditions of service, and inadequate professional development and capacity building for internal auditors are a few of the bottlenecks in your work. Madam Chair, the Ministry of Finance is working hard to obtain cabinet approval and approval from parliament to restructure the public sector internal auditing to improve its effectiveness, management, and ensure better outcome. Critical steps have been taken, and I can assure this conference that the ministry is committed to delivering on this promise, hopefully before the end of 2024. The Ministry has far advanced in its collaboration with the Office of the Attorney General and Minister for Justice to develop the critical amendments to the Internal Audit Agency Act 2003, Access 58. This gives me confidence that with the approval from Cabinet, the proposed amendment will be submitted to Parliament without delay. 
Madam Chairperson, I would like to assure the Internal Audit Agency of the ministry's support towards reforms that will improve the internal audit practice in Ghana due to the obvious benefits. In this regard, as we look into the future, I would like to urge the leadership of the agency to initiate discussions with the ministry on such key reforms such as the full automation of the public sector internal audit practice, the review and improvement in the internal auditors' welfare and capacity in their professional practice across public institutions everywhere in the world, including Ghana and those institutions of government that are outside. And also building a dynamic professional practice underpinned by innovation, ethical value systems, technology-driven solution for internal audit controls and risk management. The Internal Audit Agency must lead the charge in developing cutting-edge internal auditing tools and capacity building programs to strengthen the work of auditors. High standard in your work should not be compromised since the nature of your work is assurance. Hence, I, I urge you all to put the country first in all your work and protect our national resources. Madam Chair, I believe we have all taken our share from the conference. Let me remind participants that you must all leave this conference with a renewed dedication to your work and a conviction to improve the public sector financial management system, enhance risk management practices, and strengthen internal control systems. I would like to say a big thank you to all of you for your dedication, hard work, commitment to ensuring that Ghana's financial management remain transparent, accountable, and resilient over these past 20 years. Together, we will build a stronger and a more prosperous nation. I wish you a momentous celebration throughout the year as you mark 20 years of your existence. And may God bless us all and make our country great and strong. It's magical. Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.